hey guys welcome to the channel and if this is your first time here welcome to the lavish family so on today's episode we'll be taking you guys apartment hunting here in england uk we'll be telling you the things we consider the forgetting the apartment would we'll also be taking you on a tour of the apartments we viewed and we'll compare the apartments and share our opinion about the apartment so if that's something you'd like to watch stick around to the very end okay so the places we set for our apartment one we used the app called right move it was really very helpful it's an app where you can actually search for houses and their availability and then you get the numbers of the agents so that really helped us a lot and secondly we also looked up luxury apartments luxury serviced apartments in the uk as well online and we we're able to get the websites of the apartments we wrote the agents and also to for some of them the numbers are there where you can call directly and we're able to get viewings and then thirdly for apartments that were that, that were in close proximity to where we were we we're able to walk down to the apartments and we spoke with the agents and we also got viewings so that was how we searched for apartments Okay, so I want to share the things we we considered before we got the apartment. So our our non-negotiables was the location. We're not going to compromise on that. We wanted somewhere in the city center that was close to train stations because, of course, we like to travel a lot. We also wanted somewhere close to the coach station. Then we also wanted somewhere that had bus stops close to it, just for getting around the city. Um, we also wanted a place that was safe because city centers are known for being safe so that's why we wanted somewhere safe um we also wanted somewhere that we could do our weekly grocery shopping um we wanted somewhere close to the shops as well so we're looking for a one to two bedroom fully furnished apartment and because we're so keen on high floors here yeah, we wanted an apartment that had a high floor with good natural lighting coming into the house but also too we're very keen on floors so we're very particular on the type of floor we wanted and then wood too we're particular about wood as well so we're also looking forward to the wood that will be used for the kitchen cabinet and also to the wardrobe as well then in terms of amenities that come with the house we're very keen on having a dishwasher a washing machine and a fridge these were non-negotiables for us so those are the things we're really looking forward to in the apartment yeah we also considered somewhere that had other amenities we wanted a gym that was something we're not going to negotiate on we wanted the ease of just working out and at the comfort of our own home we also wanted a place that had 24 7 concierge servicing because we get parcels a lot and sometimes it's just easier if someone is always there to get your parcels so yeah those are the things that were non-negotiable for us all right so there were things that were really open to having in our apartment but if they weren't there we would have still been fine with that and one of them was having a balcony in the apartment and also to a kitchen island yeah and we also considered a place that had wi-fi and also if the bulbs in the apartment was white but we're also fine with not having it obviously we can change our bulbs ourselves and probably get wi-fi ourselves as well um yeah so as regards the budget yeah we're looking for a place that range between 800 to 1100 pounds based on the going rates in the housing market now so yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds okay now let's take you on the tour of the apartments we actually viewed Okay, so the first apartment building we saw had a communal area, an outdoor terrace, a rooftop terrace, a gym, and we had to see two apartments in this. We saw a two-bedroom apartment which had a bath and a shower, so you could use both. Then the kitchen too was actually nice, but we didn't just like the fact that it was an L-shaped kitchen. So... We moved on to the next apartment, which was a one-bedroom apartment. They were both on the high floor, but the first apartment, the two-bedroom apartment, had the balcony, while the one-bedroom did not. The one-bedroom apartment had a shower, which we were not crazy about, but we still liked the idea 
of having a walk-in shower um the sitting room had an l-shaped couch which we were sold on and we liked the shape of the kitchen so we just saw the first apartment and we think we're in love we're trying not to let the agent know they're still fixing up a lot because Obviously, someone just left the place. They are trying to get in a the dishwasher. Then they were just set up. I like the lighting. Like, can you guys see from the video? This natural light and it's wonderful. The room is also very nice. We have an L-shaped couch, like the dream. And I just like even all the fixtures there. So yeah, the best part about the apartment. Yes, the apartment itself is nice, but all the apartments amenities. We get a gym, we get a lounge, we get an outdoor terrace, we get um, a barbecue space as well. What else? I'm not missing anything. Mm, parking space is there yes, as well. Yes, there's parking space. And they are all inclusive. The parking space you have to pay. If you have a car or if you have a bike, you don't need to pay. Yeah. And what else do you need to pay for? Oh, you need to, to pay a one time fee for the gym mm. for them to do like an induction so you know how to use the gym effectively when no one is there. So, other than that, I think it's quite nice. So our views on the first apartment we viewed, yeah, the things we really liked, one, the location, it was located in the city center, and then also two, the apartment was on a high floor, there was actually very good lighting into the apartment, it came furnished to a good standard, and the apartment is relatively new, so that was a plus for us as well. We were very comfortable with the floor that was used for the apartment and the wood as well too for the kitchen cabinet and the wardrobe also matched our standards so yeah that ticked the boxes for the things we liked yeah and in terms of the amenities of the building we really liked that the building had like an outdoor space where also you could use as a barbecue space um, it also had an, a, a rooftop terrace, which was a plus. Then they had an indoor communal space where you can just chill and get to meet people and have a good time. Um, we also had a gym, which was something that we knew that we couldn't live without. And it had a 24-hour, 24-7 concierge service. So yeah, that was a plus. Yeah, so as part of the things we also liked, yeah, there was also a dishwasher, a washing machine, and a fridge as well. So in terms of things we didn't like, there was really nothing we didn't like about the first apartment. Yeah. So the second apartment was located in a good area with a four-seater dining, and it also had enough storage in the boiler room, which was a plus. It had the gym and a communal area, which unfortunately we couldn't record. So yeah, that was it for the second apartment. Okay, so our view about the second apartment that we saw, the things we liked, we were, we were happy with the fact that it wasn't, it, despite the fact that it wasn't in the city centre, it was close to the city centre and the neighbourhood was really very lovely. It, it was it seemed like a good place to live in. It was, the, the apartment was on the high floor, the 13th floor, which was really good. It came furnished to a very good standard as well. And the apartment had a gym, there was a concierge, and yeah, the place seemed really safe. So those were the things we liked. Yeah, the apartment also had a communal area that was a good space to use. But for the things we didn't like, um, the apartment itself, in the fridge was quite small. And we like to stock up our fridge, so that was not going to work for us. Then we didn't exactly like the wood we used for the kitchen cabinet. And we didn't like how the kitchen was shaped. It was so funny, but to us, we didn't, we're not going to stay somewhere we didn't really like. So... Uh, we also did not like the extractor fan. It was just too big. <laughs> and when it comes to the amenities of the apartment, even though it had all the amenities, the apartment building had two separate buildings, and the amenities were were on the other were in the other building. So if you want to use the gym, you have to you have to go over to the other building. If you want to use the communal area, you have to go over to the other building. So it was just inconvenience and so those are the things we didn't like about the apartment all right so guys we finally picked 
um, an apartment from the two apartments we viewed. And I feel like it was really easy for us to do that because we kept our options really narrow. Like, I, I personally, I really don't like having so many options because it becomes difficult for you to decide, you know. But even though I keep my options, like, small, I keep options that quite meet my standards. So, in a way, that was really what happened with us because we had five bookings, like, appointments for viewings. And... Of the five, we went for two viewings, um, two cancelled, and the other one we were supposed to go a day after, but because we viewed two on the same day, we had already picked at that time, so life was made really easy <laughs> for, for us, and I'm really happy we got the house we, we really wanted. Yeah, and also, um, when it comes to the process of getting an apartment, we for the first apartment, we used um, the apartment website. Um, so the process was smooth based on that. We didn't have to struggle or have to uh, view the house under duress, basically. So it was it was smooth. For the second apartment, we, we had to book it through right move. And when we got to the apartment to view it, it was just so surprising. We're like over 10 persons there to view the same apartment. So it just felt weird, like we're competing for one apartment. So because of that, we decided that we didn't want to have to fight for the same apartment because you, we all had to put in an application and then the agent and the landlord would decide who was best fit for the apartment. So it was just weird, honestly. Yeah, so um, prior to commencing our apartment um, hunts, hunts here, we actually tried doing some research. We, we watched some videos on YouTube and in a way, I, I, we felt like that really got us a bit worried because it seemed like yeah. the process was going to be so rigorous, it was going to be so stressful with all the requirements that the landlords would usually require the agents. But yeah, now having been through the process, I think yeah, it wasn't as difficult as it seemed. And to a large extent, what really helped us was the fact that we actually did our research. When you're clear on the requirements you want, basically where you want to live, the how much you're willing to pay for, and you get in contact with the agents, I think it gets really easy from there because you would have already sorted out most of the the things that you'll be faced with once you you have your viewing. So the research forms the bulk of the work, and then after that, it's just all about if you can now prove that you have those requirements. So that's why I can say we've come out of, you know, the whole experience yeah. with, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, um, that helped us choose an apartment and I'm pretty sure you can guess what apartment we chose already. So just say down in the comment section what apartment you think we chose. Um, we also intend making a proper video on tips for apartment hunting here in the UK. Uh, we found out that the information online most of the times yeah it might be people's experience but it sounds scary it makes the process seem so difficult but it's not as difficult like pressure said you just need to plan ahead so we decided to share some tips on how to search for an apartment here in, in the uk so if that's something you want to watch make sure you subscribe because we'll be dropping that video very soon so yeah Thank you and we hope you've enjoyed the video up to this point and see you in our next one.